Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, we're going to talk about the MLE 30 again for something very interesting. So I have received a new MLE 30 today. And while looking at the box, I noticed something different. And that something different is that my MLE 30 that I received today has a plus sign on the uh, next to the 30. It's like MLE 30 plus. Now, if I look at the original, I wasn't wrong. The original does not have the plus sign on it. Two other things that are interesting. Frequency range of my original, 0.1, that's 100 kilohertz, to 30 megahertz. Well, my new one is 0.5 to 30 megahertz. So it's 500 kilohertz. So this becomes a medium wave shortwave loop. Maybe they had some complaints, people saying, well, you know, it's crappy on long wave. And they kind of rectified the uh, information because of that. And that change also means, did they change something with thin? And I think they did because another interesting observation is remote supply voltage, 5 to 12 volts, where the original MLA-30 says 4 to 14 volts. So there's definitely a change, and even in the... When you look at how it looks compared to what I have, there's even the box seems to be a little different, even though it's the same loop. So definitely there's been a change in the new MLA-30 version. They possibly changed something within the box itself, within the electronics. And I'd be very curious to know how many of you out there now purchase an MLA-30+, plus, and how many of you have an MLA-30, simple MLA-30 antenna? So this is interesting because now it makes me want to kind of put it outside and test the MLA-30+, plus and the regular one, to see if there's any difference in receive. Did they do kind of a revision of the electronics? That's kind of interesting. Honestly, it's really, really interesting. Um, and um, I, I just noticed that. So anyways, just to let you guys know, seems like there's more than one version of the MLA-30 now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.